By orders of the captain, I will talk about the great nation of Captania. This week, I want to talk about Romantically Apocalyptic. It's a webcomic created by Vitaly S. Alexis, which started in 2005 when he uploaded the first few pages on his DeviantArt page, and then became a fully-fledged webcomic in 2010 with the launch of the website. The story is about Snippy, a survivor in a post-apocalyptic future after a thermonuclear war. And he meets the captain a prophetic or insane survivor of quite possibly the only one left alive other than him. They form a team and begin to survive in this barren wasteland of a city. I recommend Romantically Apocalyptic for its graphic novel-like style. Each frame looks it's as if it's a picture of a post-apocalyptic world, probably because they use real actors and real pictures from real abandoned places and a lot of skill with digital painting to get it up to the, this sort of skill level. And just in case you didn't hear it before, this is a post-apocalyptic story. Snippy is one survivor braving not only his sanity, but other sanities, and just the general dangers of this nuclear holocaust. As updates keep going on, a lot of multimedia content has been added to the story, with poetry, photography, music, journals. The story just keeps getting bigger and bigger. The one thing I want to talk about with Romantically Apocalyptic is how it keeps getting deeper and deeper with the story. A few years ago, the Romantically Apocalyptic team launched their Patreon, in which subscribers paid them a monthly fee to get more updates or more content to help sub support the creators. With that Patreon, now we have journals explaining the thought process and mentalities of the characters in, in the page that you're reading, or background music to get, get the feel of the environment around you in the comic. I assume that a lot of planning has gone into this with storyboards, plans, and he's been working on it for over a decade now. Even though the webcomic still only posts one update a week, that update contains so much. When I first read through the archive, I only read through the pictures. I formed a lot of questions about the society that Snippy grew up in, about the futuristic technologies they invented and were lost and are now being found again. I have questions about each of the different characters, about the roles on the team that they form, and what they will do and what has happened to them. And also, the outside forces that are now taking advantage of this wasteland of a planet, inside and out. There's a lot of mythic roles going on. Also, why is the mug the most important character? This mug! This mug! I would love to reread that archive with the journals, because I've only read half of them. I've been picking up details through the journals and rereading the comics with that context that has been added to the story. It's a great thing that they've been able to do this. I respect them for their experimentation of multimedia content to add to the story and how they have enough plans to continually add and add, bring a deeper and deeper immersive story to it. And the crazy thing is I believe that they have years to go before this will reach its end. It's been one hell of a ride for just a couple hundred, it's been one hell of a ride for the last couple hundred pages that they've made. I can't wait to see what happens for the next few hundred. So, until next time.